Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy, and I'm here with another altered file folder um, uh, cookbook. Uh, I did uh, the red one has um, gone to be a cookbook in California, and um, I wanted to list this blue one in case anyone was interested. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through it. I'm going to give you all the measurements. I'm going to tell you what I used. And um, you can make your own if you would like to. All the information is going to be below um, in the description box. So anything you need to know, just check there. So first of all, let's do some measurements. This measures about five and a fourth by eight and a fourth. And what I did was um, I had some ticking material. I got it at um, Joann's and I used it to make the bow and um, I used a strip of it to make the closure. And let's go ahead and open it up and remove this. And, um, okay, on the cover, I have um, used um, just some cotton uh, trim. And then these, this is actually, I got this at um, Michael's. And it's, um, it has adhesive on the back. And I just put it down. And then this is just a little bling I added just to give it some personality. And um, this is a couple of vintage buttons, and I added some really cute charms. Let me bring this up so you can see it. That's a little mixer. And um, down here is um, a little measuring cup and a cute, cute little um, cookbook charm. And then I just cut out some, um, I used my, um, one of my punches, and then I put a little piece of the ticking material right there. Okay, so let's open this up, and, um, the first part is, um, what I did, uh, I took two file folders and cut them the size I wanted, and, laid one here, glued it down, and then that gave me the three, um, the third page. Okay, there are lots and lots of places to add recipes and all kind of fun things. Um, I added the, um, the blue ticking, and each tag is blank on the back for you to journal on or put your recipes on. Okay. Everything can be jour uh, journaled and recipe. And then this is just a cute little um, tag. Let me get this out. And then I thought this was real cute, the little um, baker's chocolate. And this is a three-tier pocket you've got here here and here okay so you can add plenty of recipes okay now we're going to move over to this side and um these are the recipe cards that come with it they're four and they just slide right in here and then this is just a cute little tag that um i made you can draw um, put some recipes in there and um, let me go ahead and tell you the two kits that I used were um, Grandma's um, recipe book from My Porch Prints. And then I got the recipe, um, the little labels that have the different uh, recipes and cooking on them. I got those from uh, Miss Cog. Okay. Now we're going to open this up, and we have a cute little envelope right here. Um, I left it open 
so you can write recipes on the inside. If you want to close it up, all you would do is just run a little line of glue right here, a little line of glue right here, and fold it in. And then you've got a, um, an enclosed envelope. Okay, I'm going to stick that right there. Now, this is a really cute part of the journal. This is a one signature um, place for you to add your your um, recipes. I did the um, pamphlet stitch on it, so it has it's a signature, and um, this is what it looks like. Then here's some more writing space. And there's the inside, and I put a little measuring cup right there. And then you just keep flipping, and I left this so you've got plenty of blank space to write on. And then here's some more, and then more, and then the back that you can write on. And I just have that tucked right in there. Now, um, the center is I've layered up some paper and all this paper comes from the kit and um, I made this cute little envelope and it's got recipe cards in it okay and then it just folds up and you can either tuck it under like that oops got her backwards let's get her going right tuck it in like that and then you can also tuck in numerous more recipes or whatever in there then we're going to fold it over and uh, well I've already showed you this fold it over and you've got the recipe cards and then we're going to fold it over again and we've got more tags journaling spots um, recipes Okay, we'll start out, and like I say, all these are, um, you can put recipes on the back, and you can even write on the front. The, uh, the front and the back can be, can be written on. There's another one. And then this one, I thought it turned out real cute. Tuck it right there. And then here's another one. I really used the um, as much of everything as I could so you would have a, a good amount of um, area to do your recipes. Um, okay, now that um, this is, these are vintage buttons on the front. Oh, and I need to show you this pulls out and opens up, and uh, there's a little card in there, and there's all sorts of different things you can add and it just slides back in like that and um, yeah I think it turned out really cute um, I'm having a lot of fun making these I'm trying to um, get some things made up um, work actually I'm working on Christmas things so um, this would make a nice Christmas gift for someone. And um, I hope you like it. And if you have any questions, just message me. And um, like I say, I'll have all the um, information in the um, description box below. So I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Stay safe and stay well. Take care. Bye-bye.